It was like a movie scene that played out in broad daylight on Tres Puntas Road in the Contiki area of San Ignacio Town on Easter Sunday morning. Just before 10 o'clock, two armed men barged into the home of 72-year-old William Smith and held the elderly man and his family hostage. The gun-wielding crooks fired several shots, alerting neighbors and ultimately the police. Commissioner of Police Chester Williams says a team of cops swarmed the building and were met with gunfire. Upon police arrival at the location, they came under fire by those persons who were engaged in the home invasion. The police returned fire and one of the individuals was caught to the leg and he was subsequently detained by the police. A search of the house that was being burglarized, the police found the lifeless body of the homeowner, one Mr. Smith, uh, with gunshot injuries. The elderly retiree succumbed while his sister, 71-year-old Dorothy August, received several cut wounds during the deadly ordeal. Elridge McDougall, Smith's son, says the news of his father's death came as a complete shock. My eldest son, he called me and uh, he told me that um, he heard that there were some shots in the area on top of the hill and um, he asked me that to find out um, exactly uh, what the shots were all about. From there I took and I went down by the police station and that's when um, I saw one of the workers uh, for my dad and um, he came out and his eye was red like he had been crying and he told me that, um, that he is sorry um, for what had happened and big condolences to me in the loss of my dad. Police launched a manhunt and were able to capture the second assailant. Commissioner of Police Chester Williams explained that investigators also recovered two stolen firearms and are in the process of laying charges on multiple persons. Those two firearms have also been recovered by the police as well as one of the weapons used by the um, burglars when they entered the home. That weapon was also um, recovered by the police. And so at this time, the investigators are putting the pieces together. And hopefully, we should be able to lay charges against those two individuals um, today, as well as some who we believe were involved in the setting up of the entire matter. They will be charged for conspiracy to commit um, aggravated burglary. But what was the motive behind this deadly attack? Smith's son believes that his father was targeted for money. Smith recently returned to Belize and was in the process of constructing a resort beside his home. He's an icon here in San Ignacio and everybody knows that he, uh, he is a man that uh, lives in the States and that he is building, uh, building and uh, attract attention to many around the country. And um, that probably uh, sparked some kind of attention to people that uh, he's back and forth. Uh, to Belize and the States, and probably that's, be, that's why he became a target. He left uh, in December, and then uh, around the 17th of December, and he came back somewhere uh, in February. So he's been here like a month now. While Smith unfortunately passed away, investigators believe the Golden Citizen went down fighting. Police are looking into whether Smith was able to free himself and shoot one of the assailants. At this time, two suspects have gunshot injuries. One of them, we believe, was shot by the homeowner, but Ballistic is going to confirm that. And the other one, we believe, was shot by the police um, while he was escaping from the, the scene. So th there is where we are with that at this time. Smith's death has left residents of the Twin Towns mourning. His son described the elderly man as a loving and humble person who was well known and loved by many. He was a very well known, uh, prominent person here in San Ignacio. Um, he held a high position at United Nations, working for Belize uh, for many years. And um, he is a retired person from the UN. He used to live in New York, you know. And um, now he decided um, that he wanted to come to Belize to build a resort. And, um, you know, to, to come and uh, retire here in Belize. And um, th that's who he is. But he was a well-known person and gave a lot of job to people here in Cairo. Luigi Alvarez, Love News.